Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another game of Beat Rhea and Fran. This is game number 119, and we are joined by Brooklyn and Melissa. They are from Canada. Our Canadian listeners have joined the show, and we are so happy to have you guys join us today. Welcome to the show. Thanks so much. Yay, we're so excited. Um, We're just, we love international listeners. Yes, of course. You know, that's great. And and our American ones as well. Yes, (laughs) but we have have more of those. Yeah. So... (laughs) Um, okay, it's 15 questions. If you get the question right, uh, you get the point. If you get the question wrong, the other team can steal the point. Whoever has the most points at the end wins. To determine who goes first, Noah is going to give us a movie. We are going to guess the Rotten Tomatoes critic score of that movie. Whoever is the closest, your team will go first, and everyone gets their own individual guess. We will alternate between teams for guesses. Noah, what is today's movie? Today's movie is Set It Up, Glenn Powell. Yep. Mm. Okay, so one of you guys give out a, a guess first. Okay, I think it's 83. Rhea? 64. I'll say 42. I'm going to say 79. 83 is the closest. It's 92. So I was going to say it's really high shit. Yeah, it's Damn. a good one. I was in between. I was either going to go higher or lower than 84, but... So, 92, I mean, that's close. a great movie, but 92 is high. Yeah, it's but, a high yeah. score. Question I number one. It was high. To Brooklyn and Melissa. Shout out. Megan and Bentley. Bentley's from St. Birdoodle. Oh, sounds like and a type of dog. Megan's from Virginia. In SpongeBob SquarePants, Mr. Krabs states, I smell a smelly smell that smells smelly. What group of fish is he talking about? That's a good answer. Should we do it? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I don't know anything else. I don't know, but sardines. Incorrect. Mm-hmm. Anchovies. Anchovies. Yeah. Anchovies. <laughs> yep. Anchovies. Correct. Final answer. That is probably one of, if not the most quoted SpongeBob line in the Mariano household. Really? Yep. <laughs> These are like, These guys guys like, like we eat a lot of anchovies. Love anchovies. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Well, nothing ran Fran, and this is question number two. Shout out Elizabeth from St. Louis. Also, you know what? This is just another like kind of inside baseball thing, but Hallie from Clemson, she messaged me being like she doesn't have a partner, but she wanted to team up with another popular trivia oh, question submitter. Oh, that's a good she idea. Gave me, a she good gave game. me a couple a super names. Team? <laughs> Elizabeth from St. Louis is already scheduled, so but so I couldn't add her, but um, she gave me a few like teammate possibilities. So wow, she's wow. scouting. Yeah, that's in the works. <laughs> she's scouting. Oh, okay, so all right. The offer has been put out to another. Okay. Wow. Submitter. See. All right. Um, okay. Question number two to Rian Fran. Brad Pitt and Jennifer Aniston were doing a virtual table read for what movie in 2020 when they, when their interaction of Hey Aniston, Hey Pitt went viral. Dazed and confused. Yes. Final answer. Yes. Incorrect. Oh. To no. Brooklyn, no. Oh, it's the, yeah. Yep. Fuck. It's yep. not Days and Confused. It's not Days and Confused. Can you repeat the question, Noah? Brad Pitt and Jennifer Aniston were doing a virtual table read for what movie in 2020 when their interaction of Hey Aniston, Hey Pitt went viral. Ten seconds. Um, it's it's like a popular movie. I remember this story, but I can't remember it. Like five. No. I don't know. Time is Dude, where's my car? Incorrect. Can I take a guess? Is it Fast Times at Ridgemont High? Yes. Yep. Damn it. Yep. Uh, That's hard. Yep. Yep. Shit. Okay, still one nothing. Uh, Rian Fran, and this question is to Brooklyn and Melissa. Shout out Melissa from Dallas, Texas. In full house, why do the cops show up to the house on DJ's 16th birthday? <laughs> Forever. Um, I have no idea. Maybe like party. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. Something with the okay. Do I say that? Okay, you got it. Uh, like music's too loud. Incorrect. It's a random. I don't know this. Um. Oh, oh, I think maybe Stephanie, maybe Stephanie got into a car accident. 
I'm gonna, that's my guess. Oh. Incorrect. Mm. Joey gifts her a car that he didn't know was stolen. Oh. oh. Good episode, good episode. Okay. <laughs> car adjacent. Classic. Have you yeah. guys seen like every Full House episode? Yeah, yes, I had them all I on DVD so, as a yeah. kid. I was obsessed with my sister always talks about two shows that i that she got sick of because of how much i watched when i was younger was full house when i was older it was entourage yeah Hmm. (laughs) okay uh still one nothing ran fran this is to them shout out elizabeth from st louis again what is the name of the song taylor swift wrote about her late grandmother it's marjorie yeah 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 yes marjorie yes correct yep nice Good pull. Good pull. I thought it was their turn. Oh, well. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, two nothing. Rianne Fran. This is question number five to Brooklyn Melissa. Shout out to Sam from Chicago. What breed of dog ate Dan's replacement heart on One Tree Hill? Did you say replacement heart or replacement card? Heart. Heart. Like an actual physical heart. Very typical little pit bull. <laughs> I can't sleep with you. Yeah, I feel like that's not right. But okay. You think? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know that one. Ten seconds. It's like, what's a mean, really mean dog? Five seconds. Cane Corso. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, Cane Corso. Final answer. <laughs> Incorrect. Three and four. Yeah, you, I think it's actually in the opposite direction because you're like, oh, you oh, wouldn't no. expect. I'm pretty sure it's a golden retriever. Okay, let's go with yeah, that. Yeah, Golden Retriever, final answer. Correct. Oh. I love cane courses, though. Cool oh, dog. No, they're really Very cool dogs. I didn't mean to be stereotypical. Yeah. <laughs> Three nothing, Rian Fran. Question number six to Rian Fran. Shout out Danielle from Charlotte. Name this year. Lady Gaga releases her album Born This Way. Bradley Cooper is named Sexiest Man Alive. Demi Moore, or Demi Moore announces her divorce from Ashton Kutcher. God, Born This Way was, what, 2009? Mm-hmm. I don't know, 2010? What was the middle one? Bradley Cooper's Sexiest Man Alive. Oh. I don't know, between... I'm between 9 and nine, 10. Yeah. 15 seconds. The whole, it's when she released the whole album, Born This Way. The whole album. Five seconds. I, should we go 10? I don't know. I'm, I'm so torn. Time is up. 2010, final answer. Incorrect. I'm pretty sure 2009. I think it's 2009. 2009 final answer? Also incorrect. 2011. Oh. Yeah. 2011. Okay. I thought it would be, wouldn't have gone. Yeah, gone that's later. That's too. that's yeah, that's later than I thought. Okay. Still 3 nothing Rian Fran and this question is to Brooklyn and Melissa. Shout out Elizabeth from St. Louis. What sport does Peter Kavinsky play in to all the boys I've loved before? Soccer. It's on the field. Yeah. I want to say soccer. Okay. Because he, I don't think he's wearing a helmet. <laughs> not rugby. I don't think it's rugby. It's soccer. Incorrect. Three and friend. Is it lacrosse? I don't know. I would have said baseball. I don't remember at all. Yeah. I'm gonna. I'm gonna go lacrosse. Final answer. Correct. Yeah, cross. Oh boy, Peter, <laughs> so this Peter is hard. Lax, bro. I like that you guys were like, it's either football, like baseball, yeah, yeah. rugby. <laughs> it's on a field. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, it's definitely not bowling. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, four nothing. Rian Fran, and this question is to them. Shout out, guess who? Elizabeth from St. Louis. Yeah. Beyonce has only won the Grammy for Song of the Year once. Which song was it for? Oh, God, that's hard. I have no, I have no clue. Halo? 
If I were a boy, single ladies. Yeah, I like maybe a slower one for song of the year. Song, it's for like the songwriting, you know. Ten seconds. Should go Halo. Halo. Why not? All right, Halo. Final answer. Incorrect. Ah. To Brooklyn and Melissa. You feel like it's single ladies. Okay, single ladies. Correct. Oh, it single is ladies. single ladies. Yes. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> okay. There we go. You're on the board. Dang. Nice. <laughs> Finally. <laughs> that is a banger. It is. It is. It but is, I, but go- I wouldn't like award it for its like songwriting. <laughs> <laughs> I'd give it to Halo too. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Four one. Rian Fran. This is question number ten, and I'm gonna play a movie clip, and you tell me what movie it's from. Shout out Nori from Scranton for this movie clip. Do you have a job? No, but don't people need good cars? Can't you sell good cars, Dad? Listen, you little wiseacre. I'm smart, you're dumb. I'm big, you're little. I'm right, you're wrong. And there's nothing you can do about it. Is that us? Yeah, it's ours. Matilda. Oh, yeah. Final answer. Yep. Correct. I've never seen Matilda. I was like, that is Danny DeVito for sure. Great (laughs) movie. I love Matilda. Matilda's Me and my friends classic. love Matilda so much. Really? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, 5-1, Rian Fran. Question number 11 to Brooklyn and Melissa. Shout out Melissa, again, from Dallas, Texas. Who was the bachelor on the season Demi Burnett made her first appearance on? Do you think it was Ben Hagen? Who else is around? Like Juan Pablo, Ben? No. Not Ari. Not Ari. I didn't watch Ari's season. Um, Ten seconds. Who was it? Was it, was it Chris? Do you think it's Chris? Five. Uh, I think. Uh, time, I time is up. Sure. Uh, Chris? Incorrect. Colton. Mm-hmm. Colton. Colton. Final answer. Oh, Colton. Correct. Yep. Yeah. So it was more recent. Feels like she's been around a long yeah. time. Yeah. Six one. I mean, it kind of was like it was more recent, but it was kind of a while ago. 2018. Yeah. 2000. Yeah. 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 I mean, we're from, in 2024 now. A lot's crazy. changed for Colton. Yeah. Okay. Six one. Rian Fran. This is question number twelve to them. Shout out Haley from London, Ontario. What is Nina Dobrev's character's nickname in Degrassi, The Next Generation? Is this to us? Yeah. Yeah. Um, uh, I forget what her, even just like her name was. So she does the modeling. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she's the, the, uh, she's the daughter. 10 seconds. I've, I don't even have a guess. I don't know. Uh, right, supermodel. Incorrect. It's a good Canadian show and we don't even know. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't know. Do you know? I don't. The only person that's coming to my head is Spinner. She's <laughs> way past his time. Yeah. I don't even remember her actual name. Me either. I didn't watch that late. No. I watched her. I watched it later. Oh, I don't know. Sorry. Oh, that, was so, that, that was so. That was so wholesome. Yeah. I like, <laughs> and and for Degrassi. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Mama Mia. Her name's Mia, yeah. but she had a baby, so yeah. Mama Mia. Mama Mia. Yep. 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 Okay. Didn't know it. Yeah. Okay. I didn't really want to throw out just like some random like mom nickname, but yeah. that was what it was. Okay. <laughs> Six one. Re and friend. Question number 13 to Brooklyn and Melissa. And this question is from Maeve from Boston and Austin. On Vanderpump Rules, what was the name of Stassi's boyfriend before Bo? Yeah. Patrick? Final answer. Final answer. Correct. Another, another question, right? 6-2. And this is question number 14 to Rhea and Fran. Shout out Elizabeth from St. Louis. In Hannah Montana, what is the song Miley writes with Jesse about Jake? Is this to us? 
Is it um? He's got something. He special. could be the one. Yeah, he could be the one. He could be the one. Yeah, he, he could, could be, be the, the one. one. He could be the one. Correct. He could be the one. Seven two. Final question to Brooklyn and Melissa. <laughs> Shout out Kendall from Tilsenburg, Ontario, Canada. You guys familiar with that place? <laughs> Okay, in the movie Shrek, Lord Farquaad threatened to remove what off the gingerbread man? The gumdrop buttons. Final answer. Correct. Yeah. There we go. Amazing. There you go. No, my gumdrop buttons. <laughs> Aww. I actually saw a very funny um, TikTok from Brittany Broski mm-hmm. saying like the lo- the good line for like millennial and Gen Z is is Shrek references like if they really laugh like, it's yeah. like yeah. great movie they're, pro- they're they're over the line they're great over movie. the line great movie yep. final score yep. seven three guys it was a great game and very fun game very a lot of points some scored. sorry in there you know <laughs> in honor sorry. of Degrassi um, but thank you guys so much for playing and if you get a chance can you send Noah your address and sizes and we will send you guys some merch thank you so Thanks much so thank much. you guys thank you guys so much and for we, playing we probably Promise we're getting to Canada. Eventually. We'll get there someday. We will. So just so yeah. just stay on board. You know what I mean? Yep. Yep. <laughs> yeah. All right. Thanks, guys. Thanks, guys. Bye. Bye.